You have to give your best all the time. If you don't give your best all the time, you, you are not going to, to get where you want. One thing is to think what you want, and another thing is what you do to get there. I'm not stubborn, but uh, if I want to do something, I will do all the research to make the piece that I want. Sometimes the research takes six months, seven months. I'm a medical doctor and my specialty is anesthesiology. I did my specialty in Mexico City, then I went to France. I started to do some ceramics over there. So it was 20 years ago that I started to do ceramics. A lot of people, they have been asking me why is I made a change from medicine to ceramics. I think inside, inside me, I'm still a doctor. That's why I think it fits with me, because I have a, a scientific background, and uh, ceramics are the same. It involves physics, mathematics, chemistry, and art. What we are doing Nobody has done it. So when you go to internet or you are trying to find a source where you can find something, but at the end you realize that nobody has done that. So everything is new. At the end of everything you realize that you have done something that nobody has done. When you see that year, all the failures that you had and the problems and discussions and arguments and fights. When you get to the point where you can see the piece, you say, well, it, it was worth to make that effort because the piece is beautiful. We got a cold email to kovic at lgi.org saying, I'm an artist and I've made a sculpture and I'd like to donate one to you and here are some photos, which one would you like? And it was such a wonderful and incredible surprise. And we looked at them and they were stunning. This piece, to be able to have it, it took maybe three months since the beginning uh, that we cast the sphere. The rest, everything is done by hand. Artists that work uh, with me, my team, they have to hollow to make the holes on the sphere, but you have to be very careful because you are breaking the structure of the piece. When it will dry or you will fire, it can crack because the structure was damaged in a way. So we have to be very careful where we made the holes on the piece. They changed the petals of the roses and everything to make each rose different. Most of the people thought that these people were people that were dying across the pandemic. But I didn't see it like that. I put these faces as the research that was doing on the COVID. People that were, were on the COVID, like we are chasing you, we are hunting you. And the roses, because I thought that at the end we were going to, to find something, a vaccine. It means a lot, you know, it's been a really tough year and a half for coronavirus scientists. Just seven days a week, every night, every weekend, not seeing our families, we're exhausted and we're trying to do our best and we're very much swimming upstream against a changing virus and an exploding pandemic. What has driven the solution to this pandemic is research. Research into therapeutics, research into mechanisms, research into vaccines. Often the scientist is very much behind the scenes understanding what the question is, creating the solution, and putting that solution in the hands of doctors. And so people don't see the scientists. What they see is the doctor that gave the vaccine. They don't see the legions and generations of scientists behind it that figured out what it ought to be and how to get it to work. And so it means a lot that a, an artist saw the scientist and created something that was the vision in his mind of what the scientific effort was. I think uh, 
each individual sooner or later will find its own path. If you are not giving all the time your best, you, you won't be able to, to get success. It's a matter of effort, patience, and uh, giving your best all the time. There's no other choice but to keep persevering. What are you gonna do, give up? Say, we're not gonna cure cancer. We're not gonna make a vaccine. There is no other choice but to get up every day, put one foot in front of the other and keep trying. And know that 999 times out of 1,000, it's not gonna work and it's gonna fail. And there's no choice but to find a way forward. And when that one thing does work, whether it's that one experiment, whether it's that one solution you find, or whether it's that one beautiful piece of art that comes out of Juan's kiln, that's the lasting effect, the, the thing that you do create that is a permanent improvement in the human condition.